Hey everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 62 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. So we're here in Great Bay right now, because I kind of hinted in the last episode that we were going to tackle something in this area that will get us a bigger wallet. I don't know if any of you caught that, I didn't see any comments about it, so probably not. But in he here in Great Bay, there is actually another Skulchla house, just like the one in the Swampside place. But this one is actually probably going to be a little bit harder. Uh, again, there's 30 sculpture the tokens that you have to collect. Um, there's actually no guy here at the start this time, so... I don't know about that. Um, and... I'm telling you right now, last time I did this, I think it was... Pff, about two years ago? Maybe a year and a half, I'm not sure. And, yeah, I know about that, because obviously there's a crack in the wall. Is that a sculpture right there? Holy crap, there's one right off the bat before I even hardly enter the place. Cool. Alright, one down, 29 to go, I suppose. Are there any more in here? Oh, there we go. Wow. They, f they felt generous with this one, I tell you. Hopefully the rest of it is this easy, but probably not. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be one hell long recording, like, I'm not even kidding. This could take, potentially, over half an hour to do this entire thing, because... Doing these things blind is definitely not the easiest thing in the world. And commentating over it? Oh boy. Oh man, I'm gonna go quiet sometimes, I can assure you that. Alright. Oh man. Okay, that's three right now. Uh, any more in this room? Please don't let there be any more in this room. I don't hear anything. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be something that it's gonna be a common theme in this place. You're just gonna be relying on your ears most of the time to guide you. So let's get it. Let's get started here. Um, you could have done this right when you got the hook shot, and there is a reason that I didn't do it right when I got the hook shot. You will see pretty sh shortly after we enter. No big deal. All right, so that's the opening room, and now welcome to die. Oh yeah, man! Listen to all those freaking sculptural sounds. They're just like, oh wait, hey, there's one right there. Come on, get him, get him. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, you can't hide from me forever. Get out from behind that stupid mask. There we go. Stupid circus mask. There we go. Yeah, this place is actually a lot more creepy than the Swampside one. The Swampside one, it, it felt kind of cartoony, or aztec -y, something like that. This one's actually, it actually fits the atmosphere of Skulltulas more. Because when you think of Skulltulas, you think of, like, Halloween stuff. And Spider-Man, judging by that symbol on the door. That's not really the Spider-Man symbol, but it's close enough. Alright. Uh, so I'm guessing it's pr pretty much the same around here. In that there's going to be some sculptures hidden in these pots around. Not too sure. Uh, even though I haven't done this in like... Oh, hello. I haven't done this in like two years. I have watched videos pretty recently of it done. So I might know like some of the tricky locations, but not many. Alright, so we can talk to this guy now that we have the captain's hat. Huh? Ah, Captain, sir, it's been a long time since we've seen you. As you ordered, sir, we are investigating the secrets of this place. According to our information I have obtained, it seems blue should be shot sixth. It also seems that this house is infested with sculptures. Okay, yeah, just move on. And he dies for no reason at all. Yeah, so blue should be shot sixth. You need to remember that, and I think that this order is different from game to game, so you can't really just copy mine. Oh boy. Uh, can I do anything here? Oh hey, I can grab it. Yeah, and right there, that's the reason that I didn't uh, do this right when I got the hookshot, is because you need the captain's hat to decipher one of the puzzles in here. And it is a puzzle that you surely want to de decipher. Because you will get something very, very useful for it. Oh, damn it. Come on. I, I bet I can get on top. Dude. Dude, stop, stop, we're not playing Ring Around the Rosie here. Get, get, no, ugh. How can you fail at climbing on top of a bookcase? There we go. And now jump up here. Thank you. Boy. All right, let's just take a look around here. Just take a look around you. Uh, I could kill him, but I'm not going to. I need to talk to him first. All right, you hop down to talk to me from up here. Whatever. And he says yellow should be shot first. So we know yellow first and blue sixth. We don't know how many how many there are. If my memory serves, there's actually only six. So 
I'm just going to say yellow first, blue last. Oh, man. Can I shoot down these paintings? I wonder. Oh, look at that. Okay, there's a hole in the wall right there. Uh, are there any more paintings? Wait, is that one right there? I just saw it, like, moving. And, I don't know. Cool. Alright, that was easy. Lucky number seven. Dude, I totally hit that. Come on. Dude! Dude! <laughs> Alright, I guess that's not the proper angle. It's too acute of an angle for this game. Oh, that didn't even have anything. What a rip. Alright. You know, it sounds like this hookshot is hitting the things on the other side of the wall. Or, like, on the other side of the painting when it hits the painting. So you'd think, like, like right there, it should have killed the sculpture as well as knocked down the painting. But, no, that's just not the way it works. It just can't happen that way. It defies laws of physics. Not really, but... Okay. Uh, there... I can still hear more in this... What? You can climb this? He was... Dude, you were climb... What? I didn't know... That's like a la <laughs> That's so cool. I didn't know you could climb those shells. That's awesome. Alright. Yeah, I can still hear more. Um. Jeez. Anything on the ceiling? Yeah, ooh, shaky. Uh, getting the shakes there, Link? Yeah, I know. It's pretty terrifying. I'm scared of spiders, too. I didn't used to be. I, di I wasn't always, but I had this traumatic childhood experience where basically I was a very curious kid as a child, and I... That I had a hobby of eating random things. And so one day I stumbled across this spider in the grass. And I decided, hey, I'll eat that. I haven't eaten something like that before. Well, unluckily, unluckily enough for me, it happened to be a black widow spider. Needless to say, I was hospitalized for a little while. And, oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, man. I'm going to have to be looking for these stupid ones up in the rafters here. It just looks like empty space beyond the walls here. Do you think there'd be some kind of insulation? Makes me want to, like, bomb out the walls and find out. Alright, I can still hear more, though. I could swear that that'd be all of them. Because look, I've looked, like, everywhere in this freaking room. Uh, wait, does that... There's, like, a weird spot in the ceiling right there. Um... Yeah, that's, like, more white than the rest of them. It kind of looks like a bomb with two fuses. Oh, that's just probably me being stupid. Probably just decor. Oh, boy. There's, like, a bunch of random holes in the bookcases, too, and there's, like, candles and stuff. Jeez. Oh, can I light the, the bookcases on fire? That would be cool. This place reminds me of that one place in the Harry Potter PlayStation game where you have to avoid filch. God, that scared me as a kid. Wait, is there... Oh, I thought there was a hole here, but it's just a knockdown painting. Woe is me. Alright. Maybe... Wait. There's, like, something beyond this one, though. There's, like, a hole in the wall there. Can I, like, push this? Um... Can I push the bookcase? Please? Oh! What do you know? I can. Damn, Link, you gotta be pretty strong to push that thing. I'm surprised you didn't have to be a Goron to do that. And there's two back here, and some random torch. I guess they were attracted to the light. Even though they're not really moths. They're not Luminoth. So that's 12. Uh, can I hear any more in this room? Um, not really, so I think I'm pretty much clear for here. So that's good. What time are we up to? How long did it take me to do that stupid room? Uh, nine minutes? Wow. So this could definitely take a while. Alright, so I see some cobwebs around. Let's start shooting them out. Just because you never know. One of these could be hiding a sculpture somehow. Okay. Are there any in, like, the rafters that I can see? Uh, not from what I can tell. Uh, can I break these? Maybe bombs? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying the most stupid things here. I always do that. I always just, like, try the stupidest things, just because those are the things that they don't want you to try, and then I do, and then it turns out that, it, well, 99% of the time it doesn't work, but that 1% of the time that it does work makes me feel accomplished. Oh, hey. Hello. Oh, boy. That's 13. Ooh, spooky. Better get another one quick. 
Oh, <laughs> speak of the devil. Yeah. I'm actually playing this uh, on a wireless controller now, because I've been playing pretty much, well, actually, not just pretty much, like, the entire LP on a wired controller. I'm playing on the virtual console, and I have a GameCube controller. But I was, like, just looking around my house for, I don't even know what. Oh, hey, cool. Oh, uh, get out your hookshot, dude. Wait, did I see the timer in the bottom, on the bottom of the screen there? Tell me I didn't see that. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't even realize I was on the third day. That's stupid. Oh well. Hopefully I can get this done in that time. Alright, gotta lead this guy. There we go. But yeah, I'm playing on a wireless GameCube controller, and somehow it seems more responsive than the wired controller. I'm not sure how that works, because... I feel like it should be the other way around, like a wired, like a hard connection should be more responsive than something that's like being transmitted through radio waves or whatever. Uh, is that a black bow? Holy crap, no! Die! What are you even doing here? Come on. Ooh, magic. Hmm. Is there like a crack in the floor? I think there is. I'm gonna bomb that out. Oh, I can't hear the very ambient music, because, I don't know, maybe it just doesn't play in this place. I should be able to hear it, because there's like that music that plays when the, when the clock appears down there, the timer. Count down to the final hour. There we go. That's 16. I'm over halfway there already. Holy crap. What is that? There, there's another one. Why did I pull up my bombs? No! <laughs> I want my hook shot. Why isn't my hook shot on that button? Oh boy. Hey, I killed it behind the mask. Alright, um, pot. Pot. Pot! Thank you. Hmm. Uh, I suppose there's probably one in somewhere in this mess of cobwebs here. Uh, there's a wall. Hole in the wall. <laughs> there's a wall. Well, isn't that the most obvious statement ever? Uh, 19. Prime number. Ooh. Arrows, yum. Alright. Um, anything in these pots? Did I already check these? Probably. Dude. I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if I'm hitting that one. Okay, I definitely hit it that time. These ones. No. Okay. And then let's head to this room. Because this one's not blocked off by a cobweb. 